guys, Dawn Piggy Mama 16 here, and today I have uh, a different type of video. I don't think I've seen this type of video on YouTube, especially with guinea pigs. I mean, I usually see haul videos of what people buy for their piggies and the rabbits and all their pets, but I don't really see anybody doing an empties video of what they have used with their pets. Now, I have a basket here. This is not everything that we've used with them. It's Probably a lot of other things that I threw away, like bags and stuff, but this is a general idea of what we've used. This is probably from the last few months of stuff that we've used with the girls. So let's get into the basket and see what I've used. Okay, so here's the first item. It's the urinary support from Oxbow. This promotes urinary tract health in small animals for rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas, and other small animals. They give you 60 tabs in here. Now, I usually split these in half and give a half to each piggy. I know it says on here that um, rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas, 0 to 1 is a half a tab and 1 to 4 is 1 tab. But these girls are pretty good. Their food is excellent. It's lower calcium food. So I really don't think they need to have a whole tablet every day. Okay. I also have another one from Oxbow Vitamin C Tablets. This one is also 60 in there for the same pets. Now I usually give them uh, half every day. And I mean these ones, they take them, they eat them, but they really don't like them that much. So I'm not... I probably, yeah, I think I will repurchase these, but I'm not sure for how long. Because these, I find them around the cage when I'm cleaning up. But this one, I know, is a, if I will get it, but I'll see how they take it. This one is a definite. They, they love these. They grab them and take off with them, and they're gone within a minute. Here's a bag of hay. This is from this bag is the do more. I don't know what the hay has, okay. I don't know if you can see that. Do more. This is one that you can get at Tractor Supply. I think this is their brand. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's see. I'm looking at the back. Don't tell me. Yeah. Distributed by Tractor Supply. USA, tractorsupply.com. I mean, I usually get these when I run out of hay and I haven't gotten my order from Chewy.com because I order a lot from there because it's usually one day delivery. For me, it's one day because they're in Mechanicsburg, PA, and I'm in the eastern part of PA, so I usually get next day. One day. Okay. Now, here's another bag of hay. So they like this hay. The, uh, the Benetera Organic Meadow Hay from Oxbow. This one they love. I just wish they made them bigger. Because this is a small bag. I wish they made them in the same poundage like the Orchard Grass and the Western Timothy Hay. And from what I heard, they, all, they now have a medley hay with uh, it's a combination of the Western Timothy and the Orchard Grass, which to me is a pretty exciting thing because they like both. And they're, they're a mix. Okay, they're a mix. Okay, let's get to the next one. Okay. Here is their pellet bag. I put that in a container. But this is the pellet I get from KMS Hayloft. It's a 10-pound bag. And you can see here that the date, I don't know if you can see the date, it says they were milled on 3-23-17, which means these guys are pretty fresh. They're really new. So they will be done with these before the sixth month. They, that means these would expire September 23rd this year, which happens to be the day after my husband's birthday, but that's beside the point. Anyway, but yeah, it'll be his birthday. But... Yeah, it's a 10-pound bag, and when you order the 10-pound bag from them, there's a flat rate shipping if you're ordering just the 10-pound bag, and I ordered them on a Saturday. They shipped them on a Sunday, and I had them by Tuesday, and they're all the way out, I think, in uh, yeah, Reardon, Washington, Washington State, and I'm on the East Coast, 
That was really, really quick. I'm, re I'm really impressed with them. Plus, I like the fact that the calcium on these is a minimum of 0.41% and a maximum of 0.54%. I'm trying to see which calcium they use. They use calcium. Let me see. This is decalcium, pantophenate, choline chloride. Well, they're low in calcium. The calcium is really not good for pigs over six months of age because they can have all kinds of urinary issues with that. So this is a really great brand. Uh, I know they don't ship to Canada anymore. I really wish they did for our Canadian friends up there with their babies. But they have a new Oxbow pellet that's out. I don't know the name of it. It's something naturals. At it. Maybe I'll get some and do a review. Okay. Sorry, I cut this the tag off. Okay, this is one of the Western Timothy Hay from Oxbow. I just cut this off to show that this is something that we use. I think this is from a nine pound bag. Yep, nine pound bag. Okay, Nope, this is from Oxbow. And this is the same thing, nine pound bag, except it's an orchard grass hay. They love this stuff. They're almost finished with another bag of this. Okay. All right, this is the Oxbow Digestive Support. These they don't like anymore. They used to love them, and they, now they turn their nose up at them. They just don't like them. So this is not <clears throat> something I'm going to repurchase because they won't eat them at all. I find them everywhere. They just don't eat them anymore. These have a very distinct scent or smell. <clears throat> yeah, they do. It's a little <clears throat> funky smell. I'm trying to see what the might be like. Okay. And the first ingredient is Timothy grass, barley flour, oat groat flour, cane molasses, black seed milk. It is the molasses that's making that. Chamomile, fenugreek seed, brewer's dried yeast could be that too. Dried chicory root, sauce so, so of inulin, ginger root could be that too. Guar gum, hydrolyzed yeast, fat product, I don't know what that means, fat product. Mixed tocopherols and rosemary extract. So yeah, it has a combination of ingredients that could cause it to have that very distinct scent. This is a no-go, no for no, not first. Sorry, I'm not. <clears throat> okay, I just saved this to show. That we buy a lot of green leaf lettuce for them. And this is one of the brands that we purchase. The Cal Organic. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm <coughs> coughing from the, <coughs> the grass. Yeah, I have allergies. Sorry about that. Um, I don't know how many of these we've gone through. A lot. But I'm just showing this as an example of the green leaf lettuce that we purchase for the piggies. I eat it. They eat it. When I'm eating my cell, they're always begging me weaking in there. <coughs> Another bag of the Dunmore. Do more. Yeah, let me see that. And let's see what's out here. And another bag of the Benny Terra Organic Meadow Hay. And I think that's it. I do know I have a bag, a half a bag of the oat grass inside. They, they, they don't like it that much. They've been trying their nose on that. I first opened it because it was something new for them. They liked it. But right now, they're not, they don't really eat it. So I just put it, I mix it in a little bit with the orchard grass. So the That's not much. So yeah, I mix it in with the orchard grass and they really turn their nose up at it. So when I'm dumping out their litter trays, when I'm dumping out their litter trays, I know that they're not eating. But this is all I have, you know, for my empties for the piggies. It's a lot. I have a lot of recycling here. You know, can recycle these bags here locally, thankfully. I just have to drop them off at the supermarket and make sure they're emptied out. Because I have a place here where we can recycle all of the plastic. <coughs> we can recycle these, but not the caps. For some reason, they just, they don't take the caps. So they go right in the trash. These go in the recycling, this goes in the trash. But that's all I have. These are my piggy empties. Um, I hope everybody has a great day. Um, if you like this video, please 
please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And let me know in the comments some things that you've used with your piggies products and if you have any links to the product. I'll leave links on the down bar for these products. They won't be affiliate links because A, I don't do affiliate links unless I want you. Right now, I have plenty of affiliate links, but I haven't used them because I don't even click on them myself, so I don't even bother posting them in the down bar. But I would tell you if they are because I just, you know, I'm, I'm just not like that. I want people to be able to buy stuff on their own without feeling obligated to me. Okay, guys, so take care. Have a great day, and I will see you all again in the next video. Okay? Oh, and the pinkies say, week, week. Okay, bye, guys.